I could be drinking. Uh, are you recording? D- camel urine. <laughs> are you are you cam- are you That's recording? True. Yes, I'm recording. All right, we're all recording. Uh, we're gonna start the podcast off with talking about camel urine. <laughs> Starting camel. it right there. Yeah. Um. Uh, nice. Week twenty four. Nick's here again. Whoa. Hello, Nick. He might be here more often, depending we'll on his schedule. I like that Nick is here. It is. I great. appreciate that. Yeah, last week Donnie was like, you know who's really cool? Nick. Well, then you text me and was like, Donnie's really fucking mad at you. I was like, why? <laughs> Donnie, Donnie was like, where'd you find him? Stop going hey, there. Where this, have you found him? Get this joker out of here. Where'd you find this guy? Yeah. The butthole store? Nice. <laughs> but- nice. Welcome to Buttholes. Welcome to Where you can find uh, all right friends. And I was just sitting there going, Mwah. Mwah. And I was like, I don't like that guy. <laughs> That's a good looking butthole. Can I see that one real quick? Can I see yeah. that one? Oh, that's our finest butthole. <laughs> this, hey, this butthole you have a fine eye for the buttholes. <laughs> Don, Donnie started an Instagram. No. Nope. <laughs> Tell no one. <laughs> you stopped posting. It's a secret. It's I couldn't secret. find any more things. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Yeah, Listen, I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it. You're going to tell the whole world. Yeah, only 30 I don't people need to are going to know for this. And it's not the whole world, it's 30 people. <laughs> okay. Listen. Okay. <laughs> All right. That lives them. forever on the internet. <laughs> it does live forever. Right. And whenever we do make it big and people start rewatching our past episodes, people, people are going to be like, oh, that's Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> It's him. Anybody who knows me in real life would know that I would do that. That's Donnie, think Donnie a- made an Instagram called "This is not a butt hole." Hole. Okay. This is and, not a butthole. And, and so it's he, an Instagram of pictures that aren't buttholes. Yeah, and he takes do they pictures look like buttholes or of they? things that kind of look okay. like a butthole, but it's not. It's not a butthole. <laughs> there are things in this room that are on that account. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. There is. There's one specific thing that's super a butthole in this room mm. that isn't a butthole. Like if you just like it's kind of innocent from right here, but you get up close to it, you're like that's. Like who made this? Thing? Who? What, what kind of Giorgio Keef <laughs> baloney is going on in this <laughs> piece of work? Uh, um, do you guys see what, that? I want to know. I want to see the the male Giorgio Keef who just makes butthole stuff. You know what I mean? Not really. Like, like Giorgio Keef makes her whole entire career based around things that look like vaginas that are kind of oh, okay. plants. Like that's like all her paintings are like that. Oh really? Yeah, she's like I don't famous know who this for is. like. Oh, yeah, that's definitely like, a vagina. <laughs> no, it's a plant. No, it's a vagina. <laughs> And her whole career is that. Yeah, They're like, this this lovely painter who paints... What do you do? I paint things that I paint, look like plants. Yeah. <laughs> I paint flowers. The power of social media. Well, have you seen the chocolates that are buttholes? Like, literally No, oh, I molds? hate that, dude. That's, that's like... And then you put it in your mouth? I mean, chocolate's pretty good. I mean, hey, it makes sense. I'd call, I'd call them brown eyes. That's a good name. <laughs> Do you guys see that, uh, Donnie? Do you know? Do you know who uh, Jake Paul is? Yeah, Why? Jake Paul is the Logan Paul's bro. Yes, correct. Yeah. D- he's a boxer. Have you watched any of his fights? Yeah, I watched a fight with him with you actually. Oh I yeah, thought you did. Watch that fight. Guess who he's fighting next? Who? Oh please, Mike Tyson. Yeah. Dude, I hope Mike Tyson kicks it. Oh, I know. I mean, he is older. I have but really like... hope Mike beats the crap out of him. And guess what? Yeah. It's on Netflix. It's yeah, free. that's going to be great. It's going to be on Netflix for $0. For it's zero also dollars. not like a real fight, so hopefully it's not rigged. But I, it's, I guess it's an expedition. Listen, if I was... Okay, I wouldn't even want to win that fight. As Jake or... As Jake. Uh, Why? Like, your hero? Do you want to go beat the crap but out of your hero? You know what they're going to do is he's going to lose by... I, I mean, you really... Think, you think those fights are rigged? Absolutely. No. They're, they're not, not commissioned. They are commissioned. No. Yes, they are. No, they're all expedition. Ex- no, they're not. No, this one might be an expedition with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. I'm not sure exactly, but the, all the rest of them, no, they've been li- literally commissioned, legit. He has a I'll record. have to look into that. and then It's true. I'll look into it. Yeah. Because I don't believe you. Well, I, <laughs> it's I, true. I have a high suspicion of most professional level sports. Because really, for them, it's money. Well, yeah, this fight is totally about the bag. Yeah. There, I think Jake's making like $30 million I mean, I'm- it's amazing what he can do. Like, what I've seen happen is Jake loses. I don't know if he's going to get knocked the fuck out or what, but... I hope he then we're gonna have a rematch. Oh, I, that'd be I, amazing. I, that would be the funniest. <laughs> yeah, that, I, he's someone, just Picasso in it after yeah. it's over. Yeah, <laughs> someone like, made a comment. I can't he remember just looks who like it was. An English, like a bulldog at the end. Yeah, so 
I think it was mm-hmm. Mike from uh, Impulsive. He said, the only thing Jake has to lose is an ear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jake hasn't lost, though, has he? He's lost to Tommy Fury. He's he's nine and one. Oh, right. On I his commission that. fights. Yeah. So this one, I think, is an expedition, but uh, I'm super excited about it. I'm so excited. We should probably get together and watch it. Absolutely. It's like July 20th or something, it's June 20th. Right around my daughter's we should, birthday. We should well, change our not. entire lives to make sure we see this as soon as it comes out. Yeah, it's going to be free Live. on Netflix. Hopefully. Like We don't have to pay $70 to watch it. It's going to be great. Yeah. And yet they're making more on this than they are, in, or Jake is, than any of his other fights. Well, I mean, they can pay I guess Canadians it is like hundreds of millions for... like. It, like do you, have you seen the interview of Mike Tyson with Muhammad Ali? Yes. Where, I've seen where they interview of it. Mike Tyson, they say, Mike, do you think you could beat Muhammad Ali? And he goes, Nah, I don't think so. Muhammad's the king. You know what I yep. mean? And like like that level of respect in the in the boxing community, the idea that some I mean, freaking butthole, like <laughs> What? This Paul guy. I wonder how many times we've said butthole so far. In I'm just podcast. trying to keep my swears down, so we've got oh, like okay. a substitutes for this everything. Is a substitute. I thought you were yeah. referencing back to buttholes again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I just think I just think this guy is such a he's such a a, a little ninny. Huh? Jake such or a, Jake? Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't like, like Jake? Like, Paul? I just don't like the idea of him beating a boxing legend just because of the age gap. I yeah, mean, it's Mike possible. Tyson. Yeah. It's entirely Jake, possible. Yeah, fifty-seven and has been out of practice for however long. Oh no, he looks pretty good still. He's looking good. He's, oh, he's yeah. jacked. Oh, they he must have looks, had this plan for a while. He's got the fire under him too. Yeah, he looks good. But can he last as long as Jake? I don't know. Well, I think can, just literally no. Like, there's no way. Like, in my opinion, it's going to be a mostly for show kind of. Yeah, probably. But I would love to see Jake get his head ripped off. You know what? I'm I'm on the opposite Absolutely end of that. that. I'm I uh, I kind of like Jake Paul. He I mean he he definitely is a bit of a dingus, but he's like you know my kind of dingus. You know okay. I mean? You know I, mean? I mean he's Did definitely put the work in. in. Yeah, he's bit? put a lot of work in. Yeah. It. What'd you say? Nothing. Mm. The first like couple <laughs> fights, I was like, "What is what is this? Yeah. What is he doing? <laughs> I hope he it? gets killed in this." <laughs> <laughs> and then now it's like, "Oh, okay, he can oh, okay. actually kind of oh. fight." Yeah. His first fight was Jake actually Paul dead. For I mean, being a dumbass. <laughs> he <laughs> would right, definitely so kick my ass oh, for yeah. sure. Well, any of yeah, us, of all course, us. of course. Um, yeah. He his first fight was actually an undercard fight for Mike Tyson's last fight. Really? Yeah. Okay. Which he fought some. I can't remember. It doesn't mm. matter. But. Well, Jared, how's your week been, dude? Good. It's been mm, normal, actually. You know, normalcy normal? is good. Normal is working, hanging out with the kids, hanging out with the wife. It gets pretty game normal. night on Wednesdays. It gets pretty normal pretty quick with wife and kids, especially young yeah. kids. Did you guys go to no. shuffles? No. Mm. Um, no. Have you been to shuffles? Yes. It's awesome. Oh, I kicked it's a the absolute board, shit out board of game bar. at shuffles, and it was like not worth it. We played Catan <laughs> last time we went. Yeah, Catan's and a great game. It was great, except for I lost every time. Yeah, and he won every oh, time. Yeah. Well, I have had years of playing. And what was it, you guys? It, it, how's it work? You like raid each other's resources? So Catan? there's yeah, there's a trade, robber. There's a lot of trading. Yeah, there's trading, trading but right. there's a robber where if you roll a seven, you have to move the robber, and then you get a pick of. Yeah, I was basically running a peasant village in the kingdoms. The second game, though, you were, you were, your kingdom was moving along oh, pretty yeah, good. Oh, yeah, it was. It was. Catan's my game. It's, it's a fun, fun game. I challenge you. Yeah, we can go to Shuffles. I accept your and challenge. play a board game bar. That is my scene. You know what I, I don't like? I will settle your asses. You know what I don't like anymore? <laughs> Actually, I never really liked this. Is like loud bars. Yeah. Like you loud go to a bar bars, and yeah. the music's too loud. And the you, great and about- In order to have a conversation, you're like, how was your week? Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> was it good? Yeah. No, it's the ear turn. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> Just a lot of, yeah. yeah. Have you guys ever tried to actually like hit on somebody at a bar uh, like that? I mean, it's no. Been, no. <laughs> Listen, your game is so is so lame because you're like, do you come here often? <laughs> I think it's mainly facial expressions. Oh, you expressions. do? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you're looking good <laughs> today. <Whoa. laughs> you, me. It doesn't have, work. I have nipples. <laughs> yeah. You, have got, you also have nipples. Do you? <laughs> we had so much. That's great. <laughs> 
<laughs> I actually kind of have three nipples. Do you want to see it? <laughs> that's, that, that, is that your move? Is yeah, yeah, move? yeah. You want to see a third nipple? <laughs> you ever seen a guy with three nipples? <laughs> <laughs> and one giant testicle instead of two regular sized ones. Wow. <laughs> but you can now because of this guy. A s- what would you call it? Like a cyclical testicle? No, if you ever, uh, you, you know, you know, Ben Folds, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know his band, Ben Folds Five. Yeah. Right? There's only three members of Ben Folds Five. They're named after the number of testicles that they oh, have between them. Oh, okay. I did not know that. What? Oh, you, you they, okay. That? I get it. Yeah. One of the guys had a testicular cancer and had to have one taken out. Ah. And so they uh, they called their band Ben Folds Five. <laughs> I've seen the, really I've him live a couple of I, times. I don't know which one of them is missing a nut. Is he still making music? Him. I haven't yeah, seen yeah. any albums drop Oh, in yeah. But oh, I was wanting to talk about this. Ben Folds did this cover of Dr. Dre's Bitches Ain't Shit. Yeah, it's great. Oh, really? Yeah, and it was one of the most funniest things in the world. And then the English guy who was playing the drums at the time literally just threw out all the end bombs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? It was, like, really funny. You need to talk to my buddy Ty. He is, but, like, the biggest Ben Folds fan. Really? Yeah, yeah, I love Ben Folds. But I wonder, because I've looked for this. It's not on Spotify, right? Mm. The, the, the Yeah, this song is old. I, I guarantee you he has it on a hard drive at his house. Oh, I like, have it on a DVD okay. on the back side of Songs for Silverman because they had a live version yes. of it. But is Ben Folds distancing himself from that cover because it's just like literally word for word. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really? I can see that now, yeah. especially with everybody. Like and he probably doesn't want anyone because he was live on. Uh, he was on. Uh, he was a judge on the, uh, the, Voice, the Voice or something. Really? Yeah. Really? I had no idea. Wow. It wasn't The Voice. It was some show like that. Mask oh. Singer. I'm not. Yeah, Mask something singer. like that. Ben Folds was like he's 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 classed up a little bit recently, and I. I wonder if he's distancing himself from that, and like that was like is, his whole niche, though. Not is not, no one not mad at Ben Folds for that? Like I'm not. I personally think it's hilarious, but you know, I guarantee you, not like most people wanted, know that though. So, man, but that was it was a dude. Everybody I knew, yeah. Thought well, Ben Folds was the funniest thing that ever seen. Like, and it was also extremely talented. So yeah. we'd go see him at Kane's Ballroom. And, yeah, I saw him at Kane's too. Yeah. Uh, he had that song about Sarah Palin's daughter. I forget the name of it, but it's great. Oh my gosh, yeah. About her teen pregnancy. Teen pregnancy. I wonder how old Sarah Palin is. I'm going to grab one of these cards. Let's hear it. All right. Well, no, 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 no. Before you get into the cards, how have you been? Great, you know. You said boring, but like <clears throat> nothing, nothing particularly out of the ordinary this week? I mean, no. I mean, it's every day is different with young children. Right. Yeah, like who's going to shit their pants first? Well, that's it. My youngest, obviously. Uh, <laughs> and then dad trying to uh, fart, but in front of the kids. <laughs> but uh, here comes a risky fart, kids. Whoa. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. And sometimes you play, sometimes you lose. <laughs> no, it is fun. My kids now, like every time I fart, because to me, farting is top comedy. <laughs> uh, they <laughs> just are like, hey, daddy. Especially <laughs> if you pick one of them as a victim. Oh, yeah. 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 That's how it is in my family, too. Uh, Lauren's not a big... Uh, she doesn't think farts are hilarious. No, same. My but, wife is But well. me and my kids, mm. every time... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. He farted. That's getting a problem with uh, my daughter now because she'll we'll be in public and she's like, <laughs> I'm like, Daddy, I farted. I'm like, that's great, I love it, but not out. No. We're around people. Listen, we're in El Chico's. We gotta save that for our house. <laughs> and then she's confused. And I'm like, I know it's. I know it doesn't seem fair. Yeah. You can just Sorry. rip ass wherever you want, but. It rules. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My daughter, she'll do the same thing. She'll just let it loose and go. Ha ha! Whoops! Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, I farted. Did you hear? Dude, that's just like that kid that I teach who's like does terrible things and then says "my bad" as if like it doesn't <laughs> like he gets away with like because he says "my just bad." My it's bad. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. It gets it. Sometimes your bad. he says "my bad" as he's doing the thing though. It's like it's premeditated. <laughs> so he's like before it happens. Yeah, my bad. Like, he'll, he'll, just, he'll just do something. A hair knows, trigger like, hey, on the go, my bad. My bad. And then <laughs> do the thing. You know? yeah. It's like when a cat knocks stuff off of that's, the that's, ledge. That's kind of hilarious. Sorry for this. I do do that actually with my kids. I go, or like we're sitting watching TV together and I go, guys, guys, I'm really sorry. And they're like, what? And they just <laughs> let it rip. And then, 
<laughs> Guys, I need to tell you yeah. something. I have a great, a, a, a grade A fart story from this last week, actually. Please share. I was in a recording yeah. session with my band, <laughs> and there's a, there's a girl in my band, and uh, she hates this. Uh, but Josh and I, the guitar player, were I was sitting at the piano, and we were talking about <laughs> vocal harmonies. We were working out how to sing, so everybody was surrounding the piano. Like old-timey singing. Yep. Family. And uh, Josh goes, we should really put horns on this. And I go, I got some horns for you. Oh, ya. God. <laughs> and I just, like, ripped it. <laughs> and, then, and then Deanna's like, oh, my God. Okay, this is okay, where we're at. We're <laughs> surrounded by... Our, uh, right here's the moment our relationship <laughs> yeah. fundamentally changed. Yeah, this right here is when we all got a lot closer. <laughs> yeah. So my uh, sister-in-law and brother-in-law, they were, like, squeamish about bodily functions oh really for so some like, reason th- like you do like a bodily function and they're like oh uh, yeah they don't like they don't use the restroom in front of each other they like they have separate restrooms they use across the house wow and uh so like every opportunity i can get i am just ripping farts in front of them <laughs> like uh there was one where we were playing a board game and i was just like sitting there i was like guys wait do you guys hear that outside? And I walk up to the window and I'm like looking and it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like soup. I can, I have this uncanny valley to fart extremely long, like 20 seconds, maybe. That's so long, dude. It 20 is. seconds. A 20 second fart. If I time that right now. Dude, I'm telling you. Man, that's too how long. You, There's how nobody do you doing a 20 for that? second like, fart. There's nobody with a colon. No, no, no. no. Big Just enough to do a 20 once you second feel fart. That big one coming, you got to tighten up. Uh, and let it yeah, trump I don't it out. This. I don't. <laughs> then what, are you, what are you doing with your phone? I'm trying to get my timer out so I can prove that 20 seconds is yeah, way I, too long. Uh, maybe 20 seconds is Even too long. Even with my entire lung capacity, I don't think I could do a 20 second just just trumpet just from the ass. Oh my God. Okay. Well, anyway, it was long. Let's say maybe ten seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, that, long enough like, to where people stop talking <laughs> and all turn and look, and I'm still going. <laughs> yeah, it's a great way to shut the room up. Yeah, hey guys. and I've been able to do that for years, and I love doing it. <laughs> and my wife hates it. It's so funny. She's just like, not again, <laughs> not again. And I'm just like. <laughs> What's your husband? But I'll make I'll make What's eye your... contact with you while I'm doing it. I'm just. <laughs> oh, What's your husband's toxic trait? Yeah. He can fart for twenty seconds <laughs> while staring you while into staring your, you into your staring soul. Into your soul. <laughs> <laughs> well, in your case, just your body. But. Oh my god! It took me forever to find that timer. Okay. All right, to move on from the timer. No, I have to know. I have to know what twenty seconds is like. There we go. Twenty seconds. <laughs> You're telling me you're doing this? Yeah, probably cut off there. That was 15. Okay. <laughs> That's 20 seconds right there. Okay. Nice. I embellished it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Embellishing is okay. Look, listen. We don't lie on this podcast. You're right. We, we are truth tellers. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, when I told the Jim Carrey, none of our jokes have any exaggerations. When in I them told that, actually, we tell stories and then we don't quite get our facts right sometimes. I uh, told the Jim Carrey story, and yeah. during it, I said a three million dollar check. Oh well, yeah. But it was actually a ten million dollar check. Oh my oh, okay. god. And I, and I posted right, okay. it, I posted that as a short, and the first comment was. It was a ten million dollar check. Oh nice. my god! The comment you can't like read whatever. It. The story is read. still there. I, I love you how someone watched it and was just like, "Google right now." <laughs> it was ten million. <laughs> it was, and then they googled it and they commented, "It yeah. was ten million. Guess what? I don't know Idiot. who that guy is, but <laughs> God, <laughs> you should make your own podcast. It's not easy. No, it was, it was a yeah. girl of some. Was, how do you know? Madam, are you assuming uh, a gender? You well, are, I checked the profile. I'd like, I'd like to challenge you whoever to this go ahead person and make is, your own. This person person has never been person not f- easy. Listen, the world needs a, lot, a little bit less correcting in it. All right, uh, Donnie, how was your week? My week was good. Oh man. Okay, so I'm off this week. Spring break. Nice. Yep. So, so are my kids. So, so are mine. I managed to stack up just as much work. So cool. it's like I'm kind of stressed even though it, I'm off. Well work. that's the thing about being adults is yeah. there's no spring break. You know what? I look at my kids sometimes and I think, yeah. God, 
I'd really like to be a kid again. Yeah. yeah like, so we just because said, hey, we're going to trap you in the house. You can't go anywhere unless you ask somebody to take you. Yeah. And it has to be on their schedule. But you don't have to do jack shit. You don't have to do anything. You don't have you to, don't pay, have for to pay for anything. You don't have to pay for anything. Everything yeah. magically appears, the yeah. things yeah. that you want. Dad, I want a new video game on my Switch. Cool. Okay. Gotcha. Do you but want to when, lose on this game? Because I will play you in this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, my son, at first, whenever we played games together, he wouldn't want to play with me because... I mean, I don't take it easy. Why We're going to play you? a game. Why would you? We're playing the game. Yeah. I don't care if you're five years old. You want to beat me? You got to be better than me. Yeah. And he'll play, uh, he'll play me and he'll lose every time. And, and eventually we'll get to the point where he's just like, hey, uh, dad, actually, I just want to play by myself. Yeah. I don't want to play uh, with you. Uh, yeah. But he wants to play with Lauren because yeah. she, she sucks. She doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she sucks. She doesn't know how these games work and he beats her every time. So That reminds me of like when I was a kid, my dad. Bought Goldeneye for me. And I was oh like, wow! And he come in. He was like, "Hey, can I play?" I'm like, "Yeah." So I mean, imagine picking up an N64 controller as like a 30 year old man in the 90s, mm -hmm. and you're like, "What?" Mr. Nick, you need to pull that microphone to you. What am I audio. doing? Your audio sucks. And I am just and I'm gonna have to raking the floor afterwards. with him. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I want to. I want you to finish your story with your dad. Yeah. Goldeneye. So he got me N6 or Goldeneye. And he comes in, and he's like, hey, bud. Like, having a father-son bun yep. bonding moment. And he's like, can I play with you? And, of course, I'm like, yeah. And I pick odd job, shorter than everybody else. Yep. Yeah. Not fair. Yeah. Yep. Not, not, no odd totally job. Was, no cool. odd job. <laughs> yeah, that was a role when we played. Yeah. Nobody can be yeah, odd yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no odd jobs. <laughs> and so I'm just raking the floor with him, and he's just like... <laughs> Like looking at this monstrosity of a controller. Yeah. The N64 yeah. controller did suck. Oh my god, it was awful. Have you tried to play it now? I, I uh, it was also the last the time. greatest thing that had ever happened the moment it came out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It, it wasn't it, bad when I was a kid. When I was you like, remember that great. like at Walmart vibe where you're yeah. you're like yeah. actually Star Fox. <laughs> yeah, my son has that. Who did he, they design that for? Adults to they, play they, the they, game? They did. Do not want you to stay there and play it. They make it intentionally <laughs> terrible, so you're like, yeah. wow, well, this is so cool. It doesn't matter to my son. My son literally, well, I'll pick him up from school, and he'll be like, hey, Dad, can we go to Target? I'm like, why do you want to go to Target? I just want to play the games at Target. And so he'll sit, he'll, we'll go, and he'll literally play until I make him stop. At the games at Target, yeah. whenever he could just play the games at home. Exactly. And, and I bought him the games that are at Target. He still wants to go to Target and play them. But uh, I, That's that, hilarious. Your story reminds me of a story. One time my dad came home when I was like five or six years old, and he just came home with a uh, original Nintendo, or a Sega. He came home with a Sega, just randomly. Oh, yeah, Genesis. Here's a, you had the first one. Yeah, the first one. Like, I remember because it was bigger. That, yeah. It was my I had the second Sega that was still a Sega Genesis, but it was like the shrunken one. Yeah. yeah. You had the fat and one. And this is when he was a bus driver, so he probably wasn't making a lot of money. And he just randomly came home with the whole video game system. And he opened, I, I saw him walk in. He goes, hey, Jared, I got something. I was like, yeah. what'd you get? And he's like, I got a Sega. You want to play it? I was like, yes! That's I want to awesome. play it? And we spent the whole day just playing Sega. Yeah, some it of those awesome. like memories like that are my favorite. Like, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Because like Goldeneye, my mom, we rented Goldeneye first, and my mom was like, "You're shooting people. <laughs> you will never play this game again." And then my dad, I remember we went specifically to this barbecue place, and my dad was like, "Hey, buddy, we're gonna take a ride." And like we met my mom there, and he like lifted his coat up and had a new copy of Goldeneye. <laughs> he goes, "I got you this just because we played that game together." <laughs> oh, that's awesome! And that's I was just amazing. like, "Oh my god, dad, thank you so much. <laughs> You're the best." <laughs> and that's when me Dude. and dad kept secrets from mom. <laughs> 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 that's hilarious. Don't tell I your mean, mom we have 007. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of true, though. I mean, like, is like perception of like what our kids should see mm -hmm. compared to like mom versus oh, yeah. dad completely different. Yeah. Like Lauren, uh, she does not want the kids to see anything remotely questionable. But I'm talking about on like a kid level. Sure. Like shows, whatever. Yeah, yeah. like Blippy or or some yeah. something like that. Yeah, Blippy's dumb as hell though. I mean, facts. Honestly, I'm surprised I you know will get Blippi down is. and like I hate his voice, but I'll sit there and watch. I'm like, well, he's spitting the truth right now. Yeah, so he's he's I can't, I can't knock it. <laughs> yeah. Blippy. Blippy's Blippy's like right on, dude. And, Blippy for president. <laughs> and my son, he's fi he's five now, and I think he can handle like a little bit more intense stuff, hmm. like uh, like the Spider Man animated movies. Sure. Oh, yeah, my kids love those. Yeah, so your kids watch those. Mm -hmm. my, uh, in my, I, I, would, 
I would let my kids watch them, but Lauren thinks it's too they're intense, punching. which is fine. You know, they're it's punching, Jared. They're punching. Yeah, there's too much <laughs> violence. <laughs> so I mean, it, it it's it's interesting how that works. No, me and my <laughs> wife used to watch Walking Dead when uh, Blake was around two ish, and we were like, "Yeah, she's not gonna remember. It's fine." Oh really? And then she literally started walking around and going. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, maybe we should right. stop yeah, watching. Maybe we should stop. <laughs> she's All like, right, babe, Girl. you were right. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes I'll be like uh, playing my my more intense video games uh-huh. in my office. Yeah. And my kids will walk in <laughs> the other day. I was playing. <laughs> oh, my God. This could upset my wife if she watched this little snippet of a take here. But uh, I was playing Rust. Uh-huh. And in Rust, oh God, whenever yeah. you uh, start off, you're just naked. Naked. You're ah! just naked in the you game. You can adjust the settings, though, too. Yeah, yeah. What I should have, but I forgot. Where your whole thing was that you you just keep getting Terminator, like, transported into different places nude. That's and basically Rust. Okay, so that's Rust. Anyways, yeah. I was yeah. playing Rust. <laughs> and, and when you start the game, you start off naked. You got to go find clothes. You got to go find guns, resources, build a base, all this stuff. And I was playing it, and Indy walked in. She goes, hey, Dad. And she looks at my screen and goes, uh, that guy's naked. I was like, oh, God. Oh, what whoa. have I done? Oh, God. What's happening? And my, and my, yeah, he's looking for his pants right now. He just got to the shower. My response was, no, he's not. No, he's not. Hey, let's go play in the yeah. living room. You just created a new thing for your daughter. <laughs> I know. And my, my, my thought init- instantly was, oh, God. What have I done? I I hope this isn't a core memory for her. She walks in, dad playing the game. Just a pixelated dick. <laughs> yeah. she's, she's staring like, down. like 20 years from now, she's having an interview. She's a famous celebrity. She's like, I think my dad was gay. Yeah. Like, Why? Why? I walked, I walked into his in office on this thing. One time. He's, he's screaming. <laughs> and there was this this naked men. He was fighting so naked men. And and <laughs> they were all laughing. Around. They were like covered in peanut oil. Yeah. Like Listen, I, the concept of the game is to start with nothing and build like a like a base and an empire and you know become like a king of an area. Sure. An, an owner of an sure. area. That's what it was. Okay. Um, but whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I did. I did not like that moment. Yeah, I was like, I those are where, lock those are ones where you're door. like laying at night and you're just like, shit. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Let's not tell your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About this. Uh, wait, is Blippy on? Oh, <laughs> no, that's exactly what I did. It's like, let's go watch Bluey. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, I, I, it dawned on me this week that uh, my daughter, she's three, and now mm-hmm. she's potty trained. Mm. I mm. and we're done with kid, we're having more kids. Are I you? am done with the diaper stage. I don't have to buy another diaper Are for the clipped? rest of my life. No. Oh uh, well, you say that so, now. I thought, <laughs> so, no, I'm not. I thought, I'm, I thought you were, thought you're going in for it. I'm going to. It's just you know, sounds like a traumatic experience. Just hey, for now, you're if you want it. to go in together, I'll go with you. You want to make it a bro moment? I'm down. Let's do it. That would probably make me feel hold better. Hold hands. Yes. Smell and each other's scrotums getting burned. <laughs> yeah. And we could just play video games yeah, for a week great. afterwards. Yeah. That is the so best idea funny ever. To see the two of you. In the, in hold the, hands as we go hands. in. Are right. you ready? Here we go. And the two doctors are like, oh my God, I can't believe they got us to do this. Why are we doing this again? We should seriously do, do it at that. the same yeah. time, Nick. Go get a vasectomy well, together. Film it. Let's film it. <laughs> That'd be such a funny video. Make a clip out of it. <laughs> Make a video out yeah. of it. Me and Nick, we're going in yeah. for our vasectomies I would, I would this watch week. That. I would watch that. That's so funny to me. <laughs> that, is, that is probably a great idea. Jared, I smell your balls burning, bud. <laughs> is that what they do? Yeah. They burn your balls? Cauterize. They oh cauterize the God. wound. Oh, God. Ugh. Got that ginger meat cooking. Oh, man. <laughs> It sounds meat. terrible. And you have to pay for that. Get some yeah. Irish sausage over I there. I did see that uh, you can get it for free like once a year if you did go through like Planned Parenthood or something. Planned Parenthood? Yeah. It's literally we'll planning. cut my balls open for free. If you're planning on it, they will. I might. We might need yeah. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Wild. <laughs> what are you doing this week, babe? Well, I'm going to go get my balls soldered with Nick. Yeah. Over at the Planned Parenthood down <laughs> Over the street. At Planned Parenthood. <laughs> Love it. I'm I'm dead serious about that. I'm though. down. Because Except my wife is like, should we have another? I'm like, we have two. Oh yeah, no, we my can't wife's even not. financially recover from these two. What are we doing? <laughs> <Yeah. now? laughs> They've obliterated With these us. two, yeah. we wake up every day and suddenly there's a hundred dollars we yeah. got to spend on something. 
Oh, it's Easter, and now we got to get baskets? Fun. I love that. <laughs> Fun, yeah. Yeah. My wife does such a good job of making every holiday super special oh, for my kids. So does mine. And she's like, do you want help? I'm like, yeah. And then immediately I'm just like... A thousand dollars? God! Wait, what happened to Peeps and Chocolate? Okay. Yeah, let's go to the Dollar Tree. I got a POD CD one time for Easter. Like 15 bucks max. Why am I putting $500 in this plastic egg? Yeah. What the hell's wrong yeah. with these yeah. kids? No, but yeah, she does such a good job at making things super special for the kids at the expense, at the expense of my bank account, yeah. which is... You know what? Now, painful, but also great at the same time. And in the future, it won't be painful at all, and the kids will have the memories of it all. Will they, though? They will. They're going to be like, Dad, all we remember is the dicks all over your screens. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about your childhood? Is it Easter? Or, or is it, or is no, it no. on your screen? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Man, what do I remember from my childhood? I remember... Do you, do you guys remember the Angry Beavers cartoon? Yeah, of yeah. course. There yeah. were two kids down the street from me that were brothers that literally looked exactly like those dudes. Really? One of them was br- like had brown hair. The other guy had blonde hair. And they were like fat kids. And they were like, you want to see our porn? <laughs> That's the kind of things I remember from my childhood. You want to see what? Porn. Yeah, porn? These Angry Beaver kids were like, you want to see our porn? Oh like my they're God. brothers. And I was like, nope. Do they happen Actually, to live like, in a damp to my, house? To my, to my sh- like, I was happy I didn't look at nudie mags or whatever with the angry beaver kids. But then that same kid hit me with a weed puller across my eye. gave me like an anime scar. For like yeah. Oh, God, I have a story that's similar yeah. to that. Yeah. Yeah, there's this one time uh, I was with Josiah. when we were, we were like 10. I was 10, he was 5. And there yeah. was this neighbor kid who was kind of a putz mm-hmm. who was like 8. Mm-hmm. And he was being a dingus, mm-hmm. being mean to my uh, my cousin, for no reason. For no reason. Exactly. And so I'm I'm telling him, hey, you should stop, mm-hmm. basically. And he grabs a stick mm-hmm. and throws it at my face. And it and I, I'm seeing it, you know, twirl towards me, and mm-hmm. it hits me right here. Nice. Oh yeah. And and makes me bleed. Yeah. And I'm, I was thinking as the stick was coming towards me, I was like, oh, this is going to suck. Yeah. <laughs> and, and afterwards, it hit me right here, and I was yeah. thinking, God, I almost lost an eye because, yeah, like, it would like, have stabbed like, you right, right in the here. Eye. Yeah. If it just moved up right here, yep. no more eye. And this kid hit me with a full on metal, like, it had a metal, like, teeth on the end of it, and mm-hmm. it was like a, and then it was on a long stick. This dude, that would have taken me out. Yeah. It just, yeah. like, went, shing. And then I was like, oh, like, Nick where's your where's your scar scar or mm-hmm. your what's what's the lion oh yeah it was the lion from lion king the bad guy's scar yeah mm-hmm. where's your scar like scar oh that one didn't that that one actually didn't get deep enough to like scar real bad mm. the, i do have a scar above i think this eye i can't remember where it was but it's because i fell down the stairs when i was a kid you fell down the <laughs> yeah. stairs why did you, you fall yeah fall down i fell the down the stairs but it wasn't just falling down the stairs first i fell down the stairs that was bad enough <laughs> and i hit my head i remember hitting my head on the guardrail like <laughs> was it did you get a so concussion I was, you know, I was like, finish him, right? (laughs) (laughs) And then I decided I had to crawl back up the stairs because mom and everybody else were upstairs. I didn't want to be in the basement. So I was crawling up the stairs. And when I got to the very top stair, instead of carpet, there was tile, an intersection of tile. And I fell and hit my head on that. Jesus Christ. So So, like, my parents only think, (laughs) my parents only thought that I tripped and hit my head on the tile. No. But what really happened was my whole ass fell down the stairs. I hit my head once and then <laughs> and then hit your head again <laughs> and then like <laughs> try to climb back try up. to get back up the beach <laughs> <laughs> and then <gasps> the and so anyways, are I hit coming. my head yeah yeah I hit my head so hard on the tile when I did that it was like <laughs> <laughs> it was like bleeding profusely all over the tile my parents were like oh my god <laughs> oh my god I, mean, I had to get 12 stitches that's awesome right up in here but yeah so I have a scar I, I don't see it uh, maybe it's I can't, I can't remember which side it's on, but it's one of these. I don't, I don't like see one either. Nice, I have a scar full right here. Brows, so it's hard to tell. Yeah. yeah. I got a scar right here, and that's from The Rock going under my skin. Oh, yeah. From that story that I told you guys. Dwayne about. Kind of, The Rock kind of Johnson went under your oh, skin. Oh, yeah. Right Dwayne there? The Rock Johnson was like, let me get in there. <laughs> He's like, get out. <laughs> now there's Ow, a scar. Stop. <laughs> so, Nick, you, 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 Jared will remember this. I'll tell this story because we're talking about kid, kid memories again. 
one time Jared and I, uh, no, uh, this is before Jared wasn't involved at this time. Uh, I was going through puberty. There was many hairs sprouting from everywhere. Sure. I had oh no God. idea what to do with them, but my dad's razor was available oh. and I was in denial. Oh. So I was like shaving my armpits and stuff. Like I was like, I just didn't want to be growing up. I wasn't ready as 12 or 13 or whatever. But anyways, I was like, got dad's razor out and I was like, well, got rid of these armpit hairs. What else could I get rid of? This razor can get rid of anything I want. And I just went, Oh, jeez. <laughs> got rid of an eyebrow. Oh, my <laughs> God. So then I was like, oh, <laughs> this Mom? does not look good. Right? So Why did I do this? I was like one half alien. So I thought, I better even it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I look at, looked at myself in the mirror. It was like a chemo situation. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> Damn, I look terrible. <laughs> Please tell me you just took Why a drink. Why did I do And I'm like 12. So I take, you know those floppy hats that have a rim all the way around the edge? You know, the yeah, fishing, yeah, yeah. fishing hats? Yeah. So I pulled that thing down over my eyebrows like this for, for like a couple days. And my mom and dad didn't know. And when I was riding to church with my hat on like that. <laughs> no no one really noticed me. Deal with <laughs> my parents didn't even, like, I was doing a talk. Oh, no, your your parents are <laughs> just like, holiday. do we talk about the hat? What, yeah, my, what's going I, on no, with They that? didn't notice at all. Tr- my parents did not give a that? shit yeah. about me. I swear, they were just coming over it. And uh, it was, I'm wearing my hat like I'm, like I'm a cowboy villain everywhere. <laughs> and I get to church. And then I have this idea, because Jared and I are there, and I'm like, oh, I know how I'm going to get rid of this. And it's the hello, my name tag. You put it on your face? No, 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 no. That's the story <laughs> okay. I told my mom. Oh, I finally came oh clean. God. And I was like, mom, <laughs> it ripped what I all did. My hair. <laughs> the hello, my name is name tag. I ripped the, the, my, my, uh, my, <laughs> my, my eyebrows out. <laughs> and so my mom bought it. She thought I was telling the truth. Does she that's still the, think that's that the to this falsest, day? stupidest lie I've ever said in my life. <laughs> uh, no, she no. I've told her that I was like, "There's no way that the hello my name." You told her the yeah, truth. Yeah, you yeah, came yeah. clean. Yeah, no, to definitely. <laughs> so like, but but here's the thing. This is a huge schism in my family because I don't think my relationship with my mom ever recovered from this. I told her I was like, "Mom, tell nobody that I've done this. Like you're the only person who knows." And then we would go and we would and she'd draw my eyebrows yeah. back on every day with nice. an eyeliner pencil. Like, That's I get what to moms pick do my eyebrows great. They're like, like well, luckily, I yeah, can yeah, yeah, help yeah. you. So mom's like making me up with like the, you know, the whatever every day. So I'm going to school with fake eyebrows on. <laughs> 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 and I'm thinking I'm getting away with it. And the first day, I was like, tell nobody. Like, wasn't. She's like, it wasn't okay, a son. Fucking five minutes later, she's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> like cracking up, telling Connie, telling Jared's mom on the phone about me getting rid of my eyebrows. And I heard her and I was like, Mom, that's it. It's the last time I can tell you anything. And that literally was. Oh, man. Mom has been like annexed from the secrets. The secrets, yeah. Mm, She's secret out of secret time club is since over, then. Mom. <laughs> but, but I do think that it's important to not betray y- your children's trust. Sure. In that yeah. way. Yeah. E- and if it's funny, they just can't find out. Right. Or something. I don't you know. You also got to teach them. Right. Distrust. <laughs> you got to be like, hey, what do you I'm going to say this and do something crazy and you're going to figure it out. And they're like, <laughs> why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> life. Life. Oh, yeah. Life's going to just life you. Like, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to life. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I did this to you. <laughs> I guess my mom did enough of that that I didn't want to tell her anything. So I, yeah, I didn't really have anybody to talk to about that kind of stuff. Like growing up, girls, that sort of thing. But it was at a crucial time. Sure. I don't know. Did you talk to your your brothers about girls and stuff? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But really, it was just it was just us, man. How was how? What's the age difference between you and Shay? Fifteen. How many siblings? Fifteen you years. Have? Yeah, me and my brother, fifteen years. He has just two one brothers. Brother. Oh, two brothers. And then I have a, a brother older than that that's 17 years older than me. Wow. Yeah, his parents were like close, close boys, and then Donnie 15 years later. Yep. They're like, oh. That's a big gap. I know. That's huge. That's, I wonder what their mindset was whenever you were coming. I bet they were like, 
I'll tell you. I know, that's what I'd be like. (laughs) (laughs) I'd be like, (laughs) (laughs) I thought I was done with diapers. (laughs) Diapers! But then the kid would come and I'd love it anyways, but still, in the moment, I'd be like, God! Yeah. (laughs) I'll tell you what happened. I took my birthday, how many days late I was, and then I backed it up. Nine months. Oh, okay. It's my parents' anniversary. Nice. What happened was, is my dad's like, let's get jiggy. No condom tonight. Yeah. (laughs) Anniversary. It's been 15 years. There's no way she's shooting, you know, she's shooting (laughs) blanks for sure. There's no way. Don't worry. I'll pull out, babe. Don't (laughs) Don't worry. I'll pull out. It's actually pretty hard. In in the moment of the, uh, oh, that's all. (laughs) To like, (laughs) we should pull out, but it feels so good. (laughs) That's okay. I'll just buy a pill. (laughs) 50 bucks. That's our next million dollar idea. It's a machine that just, Forces you out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah! You attach yeah. you attach the machine to yeah. both of you. <laughs> Whenever that it's moment's like, ah, happening, ah, ah. the machine just automatically pushes <laughs> you. Jurassic away. Park. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah! You didn't say the magic word. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what if you just called it the pullout game, mm. and it was like a. The, it just monitors your heart rate. Yeah. Just or like, mo- monitors the, the pulse. And it has Newman on the cover. You've got electrodes on your balls. <laughs> just like, <laughs> oh, oh, no. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy this for only $20,000. <laughs> I am the product of my dad's weak pullout game in 1987. Nice. That's so funny. That's a funny thought. <laughs> uh, I didn't pull out in Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> Donnie's here now. now we're I did, we're when, I, when I did the math on that, I did call my dad immediately, and I was like, million dollar mistake? <laughs> million dollar yeah, mistake? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you did probably cost. Like probably a million bucks. Yeah. A million bucks. You know what? That's that's an interesting thought. I wonder how much, how much per kid cost? it's going to cost. I don't know, but, but it's with pretty inflation, cheap. It's Everyone should bucks. have as many kids as possible. <laughs> They're worth every every penny. Oh, yeah. I love my kids. I do, too. My kids, they provide me with so many uh, good memories. It's weird. I'm sitting at home, and like normally I'm like, I'm just sitting on my phone, I'm like, are my kids doing? I know. I want to go see what they're doing. Sometimes I'm looking at my daughter and my son, and my my brain is just like, God, yeah, I love you so much. Mm-hmm. It's weird. It is weird. It's, it's like weird. like I I've, I've thought to myself, what if I see some kid bullying one of my kid? Murder. Yeah, <laughs> my brain Murder. is like, I can't by you know law in the in in the right in the law standard. I can't do anything. But in the moment, I want to be like. Curb stomping yeah, that yeah, kid. Yeah, it's yeah. what I oh want to do. You're giving, you're doing a Gears of War to him? <laughs> yeah, it's what I would yeah. want to do. I'm getting my chainsaw. You're hurting my out. kid? Curb stomp. That's what I would want to do. No, I've had to like rein myself in. Just yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I know, hey, right? let's not do that, guys, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> let's not choose <laughs> violence, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's uh, interesting. It's a whole different... You it's a whole you want to be one new of those, world, one of those stone, whole new experience. The stone bad guys from Mario sixty four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly who Pretty I want to be. To anyone that hurt, wants to hurt my kids, like clear them out of the way and just puddle <laughs> of nothing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's great. Even though they cost us lots of money, and now I, I've been waiting to ask this okay hot take question because I think it. Could be pretty great. Uh, does trauma make you funnier? Probably. Oh yeah. Yeah. You think so? Absolutely. Why? Well, I would say that just empirically, all of my heroes that are incredibly talented that force themselves into lives of excellence usually have strange motivation for it. Mm-hmm. Right. So like John Lennon, no dad. Right. Um, like. Oh, just like, even for me, I can track back the reason why I wanted to be so good at music is that I was clamoring to get my parents' attention. Mm -hmm. Like anything. They were just like, my my dad was 40 when he had me, so I'm sure he was wore the hell out, and he was always working. Like, he was working all the time. And not because, now now that I've really examined my dad's life on the later end, I think he just works all the time because he doesn't want to face uh, probably emotionally some of the things that he goes through. I don't know if that's true or not, but... What do you mean? Like like what? What do you mean? Uh, Saying it's easier for him to 
go to, to work, go to work and just work his ass off all the time than it is be to like home? confront emotional issues hmm, with either himself or others. I don't know if that's true or not, but that certainly seems like my dad's move. And uh, so because of that, I was always just like, Dad, do you like what I do? Mom, do you like what I do? Dad, Mom, do you like what I do? And they were all just... Like in, indifferent, like yeah. wouldn't, it, wouldn't it give you. Like I remember the last time my mom played anything with me, game, toys, you whatever. You don't remember the last. I time? remember I was three. You were three. I remember the last time. I like mom. Will you play Legos with me? And she's like, Yeah, I'll play Legos with you. I'm two and a half, or I'm three, and I remember this memory of her building a rocket ship and putting the guy in it, and building the roof on it, and I was just like, Oh my god, how'd you do that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm amazed. <laughs> this is right? next level Lego. Yeah, I'm three. Oh my God. You did that freehand? Not even the instructions? You know? And then I remember asking her on a number of occasions throughout the years, thinking someday she'll actually play Legos with me again. And it never happened again. Until finally I gave up and stopped asking. Her. Yeah. That's kind of like with me and Risk, the board game. Yeah. I asked my family all the time. Yeah. But they played one game with me and they're like, this. This yeah. is awful. You just beat us. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I like the kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but as a kid, that was a big deal. And so, I, like, the rest of my life was spent, like, what, I, what is my mom like? My mom likes artistic stuff. How can I meet her that way? And then it was like, oh, I'll get into acrylic painting. Maybe my mom will like me if I do that. And, like, n- you know, not really. She wasn't really interested in, in, in my success in that area. She was just kind of like, cool. You know, she would provide for me what I asked for. Like, if sure. I needed pads for hockey or if I needed... If I needed something, she'd buy it. But like actually getting engaged with my parents with anything was very difficult. So she was like, use cash to make sure that you were. What yeah, that was her thing. She thought, yeah, she was like, I make sure that you have everything that you need. But like a but personal I was looking for moment. Well, yeah, what about now? So Do much? you have moments with your parents where you can connect as adult humans? No, not really. I mean, yes and no. Like my parents. I don't feel like my parents emotionally don't know themselves. That's probably true. I mean, you know, like I, 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 I'm a parent and I don't, yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, yeah. what am I doing? <laughs> right. So. right. And so I, I do wish that I had ways to connect with my parents, but my, my, my parents are particularly a difficult situation, not because there's a, there's a problem with them, but rather like their upbringing They're When people say like, Hey, look out the boomers are, and they're taking the piss out of boomers. That's stupid. But my parents are actually boomers. Like, 1948, the, the war ends. Grandpa comes home, knocks up grandma. Mm. Like, that's when my dad was and born. And dad was born. Yeah. Yeah. Like, literally. Grandpa came home from the Navy. There's my dad. Right? And my mom was born in 51. So just, in you know, in that sure. in that era. And, and their, their parents were so bad at... Any of this stuff. They yeah. So they had not a good upbringing, either of them. The good thing about my parents is that both of their parents, both sides, grandmas and grandpas, stayed together. Okay? But my on my mom's side, her mom told her she didn't want her. She told yes. Nancy that she did yes. not my want Nancy? my mom her whole life has been told by my grandma that she was an accident and that my grandma never wanted her. Oh, that's that, got to... That's got, that, oh, man. It, your mom's got to be dealing with a lot of trauma from that. Yes, absolutely. So trauma, man, all that comes... The, the shit rolls downhill until mm-hmm. my dad marries my mom, and they don't have tools to deal with these kinds of things. Yeah. Like, my dad told me a story about uh, my grandpa, which I, I love my grandpa. My grandpa was a good dad. But one time, my dad and my grandpa were cleaning out an outhouse, literally cleaning shit. And my dad was a little kid, and he wasn't holding the flashlight right. Mm. And my grandpa got pissed off and hit my dad. Mm. Like, it happened one time. But that shit, like, it echoes. And and my dad... Have you told your parents how you felt? Oh yeah, you bet. You you bet. I've told my parents. Like I I got into some therapy yeah. for you know a couple of years back for quite some time, and then I like started like trying to get them on board. Like oh my god, don't you realize what's happening? And they're they're on their own journeys, man. Well yeah, you but can't you can't make your parents like jump in and deal with their sure. things. But all of that meant that I became excellent at something just to try to get them to listen. Like, is this good enough now? Is this album good enough? Are these songs good enough? 
is this like this the music that you like? Are you gonna listen to me now? Are you gonna see me? You know, but mm-hmm. but that's so yes. Does trauma make people funnier? You bet your ass it does. Those comedians out there that are very good at their jobs are doing it because they're like something's missing, right? And they're trying to get it somewhere. That's what I think. I mean, it's a good take on it for sure. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? I I mean, I definitely agree with because you know there's always. The comedians that are like, you know, the funniest in the room, but then they end up like doing something harmful to themselves or right. whatever. But no, they're, they're trying to they're trying to do something. I can yeah. I can relate to. Uh, I mean, not really. No, I've never hit my kids, but uh, like I find myself in moments where mm-hmm. my kids make me very angry, mm-hmm. and I struggle to figure out how to handle a situation whenever they're just like not listening. Yeah. What what is it about? It? What is it about kids <laughs> all making, the time? Yeah. Why, so kids make you angry. I yeah, know this because like, I have my students make me angry when I'm when I got like fifteen of them in a, in, a, in one space and I'm like, all right, yeah, no, we're but, gonna so, so this play is, guitar now. And just like, imagine no, we're not. We're gonna we're gonna trade basic, cuss words. Just <laughs> imagine a basic task of like eating or or putting your shoes on. So or, literally, yeah. yeah. So literally, like the other day, I was like, Oliver, we're, we're, I gotta take you to school. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. You just get your shoes on. And he's like, okay. Yeah. Fifteen just minutes like, later, just like uh, doing just whatever, whatever his brain is telling him to it reminds do. Reminds me of myself. And I, get, and I get done brushing my teeth. I come out. I come out, and his shoes are not on. I go, bud. I asked you to put your shoes on. Go put your shoes on, please. Yeah. And he's like, okay. I'm just like trying to it, instead of listening, just like yeah. laughing yeah. and like not doing what I'm telling mm-hmm. him to do, and it like brings. Rage. Anger rage. out of me because you yeah expect rage more of them. out of me <laughs> like your expectation is that they would go all I have to do is put my shoes on I'm gonna do it right now and yeah it's yeah. It, yeah I mean it's not like I I I guess expect more from him I'm just like mm-hmm. it's a basic request just put your shoes yeah. on yeah. and he's not doing it <laughs> and I find myself in situations where my internal emotion is like yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have to like <laughs> bottle it down. Yeah. But also at the same time try to figure out like what how do I make him do this mm-hmm. so it this doesn't continue to happen. Right. Without right. without like creating a traumatic experience for him. Like I don't want to yell at him and be like Put your yeah. freaking I mean, shoes on. Those are always <laughs> but those at are the always same time. Fun, but afterwards <laughs> but at the same time like, when I have lost myself yeah. and raised my voice. It works so well, but yeah. I don't want it. I don't want that to right. be the solution. Like right. I don't want that to be like Oliver growing up and be like, "Yeah, my dad would yell at me when <laughs> yeah. I didn't put my shoes on." You know what I mean? He was a big shoe guy. He didn't <laughs> yeah. put the shoes on. Yeah. No, I mean, like I've lost myself a few times. Yeah, I've never sure. hit my kids or anything like that. Right. But I have like raised my voice or yeah. you know not acted how I should have. But something that I do do in those moments is yeah. I apologize to my kids. Like yeah, whenever sure, I lose yeah. my cool, yeah. I'm not above them. If right. I make a mistake, right. I'm going to say, I'm sorry. Right. You're that respecting dad them because they're human. Yelled at you. Yeah. You weren't listening, but it doesn't, mm-hmm. I shouldn't have re- react. That isn't an okay mm-hmm. for the way that I reacted yeah. mm-hmm. to you. So, mm. I don't know. Yeah. I wonder like, uh, so Mandy got this kitten and, uh, Yesterday, it hops up on the counter. We're trying to keep it off the counter, <laughs> and she shoots it in the asshole. With the she <laughs> squirt what? Bottle. What? Because you squirt bottle. Oh, a squirt bottle. And, yeah, Lauren has <laughs> has one of those for Leo with a forty six gauge shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom! I guess time for a new no squirt more bottle. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> but, but anyways, this cat's Hilarious. like, it's like, <laughs> like doesn't even care. It's like, ooh, cleansing. <laughs> oh, it's like, this the point, shower. At this point, the cat's been so Every bad Every time all it takes day. a shit now, it we comes up the to the counter. So just like, many times with the squirt bottle. <laughs> Clean it was me. like soaking wet. Oh, and it was like, shoot me in the ass. I don't care. <laughs> it, it, like, like, there's like... The, the training of anything, like a young person, an animal, or whatever, you can, you can incentivize it, or you can beat the shit out of it. <laughs> In this case, no, shoot I'm it just kidding. with with the with the squirt bottle. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the cat has no clue that it's getting shot with <laughs> the squirt gun <laughs> for any reason. Like like, and I like that. Even that, I was like, how do you do this? How do you train a stupid thing? 
creature of any kind, human, yeah. cat, whatever. Yeah. How do you, you can't just be like, if you put your, it, like, you can't even talk to the cat. So, like, you can't be like, if you get your ass off the counter and never get back on, I'll give you one treat a day for yeah. 30 days. Like, you can't, like, bargain with it. He doesn't know. And the same thing with, like, a three year old. I mean, I don't know. I feel man. like that with my son. He's two. And I'm like, hey, yeah. you're putting your shoes on the wrong feet. I'm watching him just like. Yeah. Put the <sighs> same shoe that's yeah. on the wrong foot, and it's just like, is this right? Like, no, bud. <laughs> no, it's not. Other it. foot. <laughs> same foot again. I'm like, All right. Yeah, my, my son does that too. <laughs> like even whenever I'm putting the shoes on them oh, for like, them, no. <laughs> no I, I, I'll, I'll present the the shoe, and they'll always present the yes. wrong foot. <laughs> or what my kid does regularly is kind of cold. I'll put a coat up. Yeah. And they'll come at it opposite direction. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, no, no. arm goes this way. <laughs> I literally put the arm hole that yeah. your arm is nearest to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To, and they're yeah. like. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that drives me absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, now you can go outside. <laughs> yeah. Go outside for the rest of the yeah. day. <laughs> okay. Well, here's something. You guys are parents already. Our city is not a walking city. You can't walk anywhere. You have to have a car. Pretty mm-hmm. much everywhere in Tulsa. Mm-hmm. Um, how? I mean, where we live, you can kind of walk places. That's true. Mm, yeah. But anyways, continue your story. For the most part. W- at what point are you going to let your kids go and when and how far will you, uh, what, how much autonomy are you going to allow them? Because oh, we no. had yeah. loads of it oh, we, yeah. when we, we were kids. we lived in like the boondocks almost. And it was like, amazing. Yeah, so so there wasn't a lot around, so it makes sense that I we I was could doing like, a half mile to Jared's house. Yeah, no, so we lived close enough to each other to where uh, we could ride bikes yeah. to each other's house. Mm-hmm. But there was not like a city around yeah. or like a lot of like cars. I was in a neighborhood we that was... We stayed off the main road, but we had a, we had a, we had a neighborhood I was in a neighborhood yeah. kind of similar, where, but I could run around, like ride my bike literally miles around, and it's all in the neighborhood, but yeah. it's like... Very hilly, topographic, mm-hmm. like there was a river running through or a creek, mm-hmm. and we'd climb the cliffs and all sorts of stuff. And like thinking about that now, like my kids right now, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah. Not? So like my kids, no, 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 they're not doing what we did at, at where I live. Oh, not because, where you live. Yeah. Because we, I live like in like on the outskirts from the city, but it's mm-hmm. not too far. It's like there's still a lot going on. Maybe if we lived in the same area that me and you grew up in i'd let them go a little bit farther i also but not now they're five and three i also think it's like an age thing yeah yeah we were when we were 10 12 yeah i'm like if my kids had like a panic button or a cell phone and they could be like hey dad yeah something that we could track yeah then i'd be like maybe Maybe. But right now, absolutely. Dude. Like, I've got a four year old and a says two you shouldn't air tag people, but I would air tag my kids all day. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. They like, literally make like insoles, <laughs> insoles have, for kids' shoes with Apple tags. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, we yeah. have an air tag on my, ki- my son's backpack mm. when he goes to school. But my kids immediately take their shoes off wherever they go. So it's <laughs> yeah, like, so, mm, yeah. cool. maybe that wouldn't work. <laughs> the backpack, too, he takes it off. So I don't, yeah. know, I don't know why we put it on the backpack, but there's an air tag on his backpack. No. If we could just embed it into their skulls. There or we something, go. Yeah. yeah. Would you actually tag your kids like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> they do it around no. the it. Be pretty convenient. It though. would be nice. <laughs> and they're like, "Okay, you're 16. Let's go. <laughs> let's go get your tag out. Your tag's really close to uh, Angelica's tag, and I don't want to be a grandpa yet. Yeah. So <laughs> that's something I'm not looking forward to. Is like, oh yeah, that time. Hey, keep it. In, please, like, don't. Did okay, snake. So this cage. this actually yeah. brings up an interesting question. Did you ever have like the sex talk with your dad? No, my sex talk with my I dad. I'm kind of pissed. I never did either. I had a girlfriend in high school, and she was of <laughs> Mexican descent. He goes, "Hey, did you eat that taco last night?" Oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> yeah, that Golly, was your sex bro. talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you eat that taco yeah. last night? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Gee whiz. I'd have been like, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> I was like, no, dad. <laughs> no, what's your taco? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, my dad probably doesn't know what that means. I didn't, I didn't my have My parents that. were so sheltered. They were in this cult and they were growing up. So like. Like legitimately in a cult? Yeah. Oh yeah. Full on. What? Yeah. 
Church of the Firstborn. You didn't know that? No. It explains have, a lot it's about been, what it's you been explained said to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe you explained my parents it to me when I was a, a cult. kid. I, I didn't. Yeah. Maybe it didn't compute. Um, well, it, that's the word that you would use for it in short. Now, mm-hmm. my parents were in a denomination of the the church called the Church of the Firstborn. In, in that particular, were denomination, they in it when you were born? Yes. Okay. When did they get out of it? They left. Uh, no, I think I was born after. Maybe two or three years after they okay. had left. The Church but, of the Firstborn. Is yeah. that what you said? And it's a it, it the denomination of Church of the Firstborn isn't as wacko as they grew up because their particular church was rejected from the entire rest of the denomination. So they were just hanging so out there. Like the, ah. Yeah, they were like a crazy and they, they believed that their five hundred people in their community in the middle of Rocky, Oklahoma were the only five hundred people that were gonna be raptured. that were going to be saved. Like ah. that God that they were the only true revelation of truth in the universe. Sounds like Waco. Oh, it was yeah. crazy. Yeah. And so like they had a series of deacons and and priests in the church that were women and men. Women were like prophets and men were deacons or whatever. And they used scripture just to control one another and it just got wild. And one of the things is that they weren't allowed to... This is another thing, man. This is a big part of my family. Um, They weren't allowed to go to the doctor. Oh, really? So if you get sick, God wills your death. You're dead, buddy. You're dead. Going to the doctor is resisting the will of God. Or for you, you know, whatever. That's kind of what they thought. So I had a brother who died. Seriously. Because they didn't take him, Jesus, to the hospital. You didn't. You, this is the whole thing. You, this, is, this is my life. I thought. Yeah. I thought it was like a miscarriage. No, he was born. Yeah, he was born and lived for months, but he had spinal meningitis, and my mom took care of him and just didn't couldn't take him to the hospital. And he died. Whoa. That's yeah. That's like that. Like so, you want to know what my family's a little weird, even though like they're normal on the was surface like now. The, very was successful. That like the moment where they were like, maybe this is. Oh yeah, they were like, I'm going to hell. Fuck this place. We're, you know, we're taking him to the hospital, and it was just too late. Jesus. Oh my Christ. god, that's yeah crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. So you need to think about my mom whenever I'm talking about my dad and my mom, and they're like, "Yeah, she's th- their various little issues." It's the, like the, the idea of like losing a kid is like something that I'm not sure how I would handle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So she's got some some like uh, major trauma that absolutely. Yeah. That the ne- none of us know what it, it's like. Mm-hmm. And furthermore, my mom was not modeled attachment. Her mom literally, my dad, my grandpa Carl died before I was really even on the scene. Mm -hmm. And so my mom had, my mom's only surviving parent actively told them how little they wanted them. So my mom wasn't modeled how to attach. Right. You You know know? what, for everything that your mom has dealt with. Yeah. She's amazing. I think she's pretty awesome. Oh, fantastic woman. But also, you don't know that as a kid. Right. Right. Yeah. And like, I didn't know the full details of my brother dying. Right, I didn't I, until I was, I was in my thirties. I'm thirty five. Yeah, this is a story I've never heard before. Yeah, and the, the, the more the more, and we've been friends for thirty yeah, three years. Yeah, the more detailed <laughs> parts of that story I didn't hear until two years ago. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, that I mean, I knew that he died, and I knew that it was, I knew that it was not necessary that he died, but I didn't realize that my mom cared for him every single day, and people would come by the house and check on him, and she'd be like, "He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine." Wow. And then he wasn't. Jesus. You know? That's crazy. And it was all because of the church. You know? It's a wonder I'm still a Christian. Yeah. Honestly. But that's not, like, true. Yeah, that's, that's not, not, that's not like anything like... So my parents, when they when they found, like, the, the, like the brand of Christianity I am now, that was a... They, they, they felt like hippies. They were like, we're free. Right. Like, oh, my God, there's peace. There's love. There's... Actually, the the true nature of what Christianity is about, my parents discovered it, and for that reason, they were banished from the community. Good. Yeah. Yeah, good riddance. Good riddance. And when my grandma died, I basically spit on her grave. I was like... Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> like, there's, like, literally footage of, of me walking with Jordan, my cousin, and I remember, like, what I was talking to him about. And somebody was taking a video of us walking. Like, my cousin yeah. Marielle was th- making fun of how funny we walked together because we look exactly the same. But I remember the conversation I was having with him. I was like, you know what, Jordan? I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm like almost glad she's gone. Like that's what I was saying to him on that walk. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, 
It's it's because of how much she had messed with your messed mom. with my mom yeah. and how much I dealt with that because yeah, yeah and it bled it it, it trickled yeah. into that's crazy wow yeah it's wild so it is what it is I'm not I'm not trying to have a pity party about any of this no no yeah but it is like it. we were just talking about whether or not comedians trauma is funny trauma it, is funny yeah that, trauma crazy, is funny crazy what a crazy thing came yeah. out of that hot take card do you yeah. know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean was not, that was that's crazy trauma Thanks makes for, funny, but I think yeah. your your upbringing isn't particularly like unscathed unsca- I mean, yeah, you have some pretty moments. funny like situation but you're a hilarious person like I would genuinely think that every time we've hung I think out, I mine, laughed at you. Mine was more of like being a fat kid in school, like more. Yeah. Try- Wait, I saw a picture of you in high school. You high school's skinny. different. Oh I, yeah. Like, literally okay, so you my, guys are the same. Yeah, he we, was, he was a fat was kid fat in kid. elementary and then skinny no, like, in high school. No, like literally, I lost weight senior year, and then I was like, Oh really? Hey, what's hey, up? look at me, Serena. Yeah, what do you yeah, think yeah. about this? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I don't I have like quite the tits I used to anymore. You into that? It like I. I was this tall until I was in, in a senior seventeen. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, so you 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 grew up yeah. after growing out. Are you taller than Ben? Yeah. Fuck Ben. He's short as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I I would say this to Ben's face. There was a time when Ben and Jared and I were hanging out and and we were talking about what we wanted to do with our lives. And I was like, I'm gonna be a rock star. And Jared's like, oh, I think I'm gonna do it too. And then Ben's like, I'm gonna play basketball for KU. And Jared oh, goes. Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> did, I, did I do that? Yes. No, you're not. Ben. No, you're, no not. you're not. No, oh, honestly, me and Ben, ben are... was like, <laughs> just like, really? yes, I am going to play basketball for KU. <laughs> me and I Ben are probably I can't believe I would like, say that to him. That's I not honestly so, don't know if I'm like taller me. than I'm going to Bro, you definitely it, said, but... you're like, he's not playing basketball. Well, you remember it. I'm not going to doubt you, but it doesn't <laughs> sound like me. You said, how? what'd you say? I think we're like this far off. I don't think I'm, if I am, I honestly don't remember. I, don't I just, I, every time I see his eyes are lower than mine, that makes me happy. Nice. How tall are you? I don't want to tell you. You're 5'7 on a good day. Perfect. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. No, you seem taller than 5'7. No. Yeah, I'm 5'9 and a half. I'm and six I keep foot. that 0.5. Wow. Six foot. But I'm a ginger, so. That is a <laughs> minus. You're really an playing inch, that G so. card. <laughs> What'd you say? Mm. No, yeah, you're six feet tall. I'm 5'9. When I wear cowboy boots. Nice. Ah, five eleven. Eight. I'm five eleven. Nice. And then nice. I just tell people I'm six feet. Mm. You're the a liar. Boots. Yeah, I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> First dates, cowboy boots. Hey, every time. Mandy's so, like, Donnie, how tall are you? I'm six <laughs> feet. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy. I just parked my horse. You ever been near so, a man uh, that's six say, foot? Say, Missy, you come here often. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely six feet. My hat adds three inches. <laughs> my, if, you, if you add my hat, I'm six three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one more. PDA is gross. Nope. Uh, it depends on the PDA, I guess. Depends on whether or not what you, you get mean? an ob slob Elaborate. out in public. I mean, if people are just like glucking each other in public. Glucky, glucky, gluck. <laughs> That's the sound it makes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to see it. Yeah. There's this one time, and I, I gotta avoid names because, because it was me. It wasn't. It wasn't Donnie. It was Cody. It was no. It wasn't <laughs> Cody. Uh, I was meeting a friend of my wife's for the first time, and uh-huh. they were really close. Um, your wife and the friend. My wife okay. and the friend, uh, and it was a, a a dude. Basically, brothers. Whatever. I don't um, know who this is. Yeah. <laughs> And and I was meeting the person that he was dating. Okay. And we went to uh, Sound Pony to meet them there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We walk in, and we find them on a bench in Sound Pony. Okay. Just making out. Oh, I know, I know which and bench that just is. Just in the middle of the club. Yeah. Yeah. And in the moment, I was like, "Well, you should have just poked him in the cheek." Just this is hey. pretty. This is we're over here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're Hi. here. <laughs> I was actually super close to this dude uh, until I wasn't because of the person he was making out with. Bummer. Oh. Let me let me let me let me I, I dive into this story a little bit because this is pretty meaty. Uh, so Lauren had a had a, a buddy, okay. a brother that yeah. wasn't blood. Yeah, that she grew up with. Okay, mm-hmm. and I started dating her. And she told me this story, and mm-hmm. I accepted it. It was like, cool. 
no problem with me. I don't, I don't have any issues with it. Mm-hmm. And so I intentionally tried to get close to this dude. And we became close. Like we, we, we would tell like, like in, in depth mm-hmm. story, vulnerable stories mm-hmm. to each other. And I liked him a lot. And so then he started dating another person. Mm-hmm. And, and he told her the same thing. Lauren's like, my sister, we're not blood, but we're like mm-hmm. sisters. And she had the exact opposite. Sure. She was like, she's like, you got to get rid of Lauren. She got the exact <clears throat> opposite approach that I had to mm-hmm. it. To the point to where he's no longer in our life because, because he chose him. someone that wouldn't... Was accepted insecure for what it. it was. Yeah. Yes, she dealt with a lot of insecurity, mm-hmm. and it forced us to not be friends. out of his life. And you know, uh, that has pissed me off so much it must because have been, because must have been some good makeouts because I was in the exact same situation as her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And she forced me out of his life mm-hmm. just because right. of whatever the connections and yeah. and it's. It's 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 made me so mad. Okay, so you had just you had just told us about a friend of yours that you had to sever the friendship because he got married to someone. I, I who didn't. Was, I didn't sever the friendship. They severed the friendship. Okay, who was? And it was based over the insecurity of your friend's wife with the friendship that your friend had with my wife. Had with your wife. Yeah. So it it just yeah. I mean. To cut the story short, it's basically made me frustrated because I I love this dude mm-hmm. and Lauren loves this dude and and Lauren has so many childhood memories with this guy. Mm-hmm. Their parents were so close, they were so close. It was literally like a brother from another mother, mm-hmm. and I understood it and and wasn't threatened by it. I I mean like I I have my own insecurities because I'm. A a ginger, you know. <laughs> I, I, when I'm out in the sun, I'm like, ah, <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know. But but I'm not I'm not worried. Like me and my wife's love is so sh- secure. Yeah. I don't yeah. have to worry about him, right? But clearly, and then if you did worry about him, you'd be you'd be worried about a piece. If of I your worried wife. about him, me and Lauren probably wouldn't have got married. Honestly, oh yeah, because like her, she's so she's so. Uh, mm-hmm. She is so family involved that mm-hmm. if like me and her didn't jive as far as mm-hmm. like our families, it wouldn't have worked out. Yeah, it would have been and, and Matt, it's just simply not okay to make people choose loves. Like no one is ever gonna get between me and bass guitar. Right. Right? That's not happening. Yeah. Right? No one's gonna get between, you know, you and game night. Yeah. If someone does, then they don't love you. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lauren, Lauren understands game night now at this point. She understands yeah. the dynamic of uh, of me as far yeah. as like a person. Like I need time with my friends, my family, mm-hmm. and my wife. Mm-hmm. If I don't get all those things, my brain starts doing like Silly thinking stuff. thoughts that it shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Um, because like with with, I think this is a hot take, but I think something that helps secure a healthy marriage is like making sure that you put time into your wife and then also you guys put effort into making sure that you guys are putting time into your friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because Mm -hmm. you can, there's, there's just like conversations that you can Mm -hmm. have and like, uh, experience Mm -hmm. outside of your marriage. Like, like Serena doesn't like talking about farts. Nope. Hates you know, it. you can talk about farts here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Ex- this exactly. is your fart zone. <laughs> this is nice. your fart zone. You know what so I mean? Excited. Same thing for me. Same thing for yeah. me. There's some some humor that I enjoy, Lauren doesn't enjoy, and that's perfectly okay. You just <laughs> you, you know you got to find that balance. Yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, there was a whole rant <laughs> that we edited out just now that I don't know what I was getting ready to say, but you said um, there was humor. There is humor. That, That's what it was. Yeah. That you you just don't have sometimes with your spouse that you can have other places. You shouldn't be like, you know, she might not be keen on it, but it doesn't mean you have to be someone you're not. Right. Right. Yeah, you just understand the situation. You yeah. understand. Yeah. Read the room. Yeah, read the room. <laughs> right. You read the room. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, you wouldn't have had to edit that out, by the way, com- compared to the podcasts that are out there. But right. My uh, I wife, I'm constantly pushing the edges of... What's funny with her? Most of it's not. <laughs> Most of it's Most of it. yeah. <laughs> What's her response? What's her response? Oh, God. Just, what are you doing? What are you like, doing? 
<laughs> trying something Part new. Part of it, <laughs> trying something new, for me, yeah. is actually... <laughs> Like to me, my the thing that I think is the funniest is whenever I take the role of like a Michael Scott mm, yeah. in our relationship. Like, what is the thing I shouldn't do? I'll do that. Exactly. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yes. Like that's really funny to I me. I don't know what the making yeah, other I people cringe. Same. Yeah. Is, yeah. Is, is, no, is making her too. be like like I, I keep on wanting to find her like where she's gonna be like, stop. Yeah. But she's never done it. And, like for three months I've been like that, hey, kind of, that what if I do it? this? That will happen and then one day it's gonna be like what is God? Why? Why? You're just like, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. I was just I'm sorry. Yeah. thought we were doing what we normally do. Yeah, you know like, where okay. I... Okay. She's like, puts a hard line down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it may be. The other, day, the other day, me and Donnie were at, actually, this is like a, a, a month ago or so, we were at a gas station. <laughs> and uh, we bought sausage rolls and they were like $5, oh. which is, you know, expensive. Sure. For a, a sausage roll. Yeah. And Donnie buys it, walks to the door, and then says in the gas station... Thanks, Obama. <laughs> I mean, cla- that's a classic. Yeah, that's, that's a classic. classic. As I'm that's buying a, a sausage yeah. roll. Like, what is, and how much is this sausage roll? Five dollars? <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Yeah. And the, and the I, gas station attendant was like... Yeah, the gas... You could see the, the, the discomfort in yeah. her face. And I was basically just like... Oh God. Sorry, my friend is unhelpful. Sorry, I don't, I don't know him. We're just riding in the same car. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically what it was like. No, it's hilarious. And it you was, know it. It was a comment just to just to see. Yeah. What the reaction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I to make there. everybody. I was there to make her what go. he did was he grabbed a chaos grenade, pulled the pin, <laughs> threw it behind him, yeah. and walked out. Walks out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Thanks, I, Obama. I <laughs> totally respect that because that's one of my favorite see, things that, to do. Yeah, see, that is funny to me because it's wrong. Yeah, like you're not supposed to blame Obama. Obama hasn't been in president yeah. for, in the, the president for, for you know, twelve eight years, years now, years. Maybe. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> or eight years. Yeah. Yeah. You would actually have to be our age or older to even get yeah. <laughs> thanks, Obama. Thanks, Obama. Right? <laughs> I do something similar, but I say thanks, Biden. And everybody's like, thanks, what? Thanks, thanks, Biden. Biden. He has screwed a lot of things. Whoa. Oh, whatever. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, he has. Oh, let's get political. I gave $75 to Kennedy's campaign knowing that if he uses that money, they're going to kill him. Mm. So you were actively trying to see someone. No, I just, I was just like, I, he's my guy. Okay. But he can't win. I know. He's a registered independent, so I mean. Yeah. It's but hard. also, do you want to hear, my fellow Americans, I'm here tonight. No, I know, his voice is kind of strange. No, I want it. Hard I want full to. on. I'd take it. I mean, you know. Name a more competent guy in the race right now. He is pretty competent. Obama. <laughs> Obama's coming back. <laughs> He's yeah. coming back for a third Obama. term. <laughs> is he need to get two? Huh? Did he get two? He did get two. Yeah. Oh, so he's yeah, done he already zero. got okay. two. He can't. He Dude, can't if he came back, be... he would sweep it. He'd be like, "Are you guys uh? I don't want know. Some not it. ridiculous. I don't know. Michelle Obama. Yeah. Oh I, man, I've, my, I've heard rumors my, of that. Okay, my family is over the top, and they will not stop talking about how they think that Michelle Obama is a guy. And I'm oh, like, you yeah, gotta I've stop. Your family you thinks stop. that Michelle Certain Obama is the guy? <laughs> Obama people, likes the, the yes, ladies. There are okay. people in my your family, mom, your mom I'm not and, going to tell you who which one of them it is, but there's a human in my family that is like, Michelle Obama's a man. No. Gas will, groceries will not get cheaper. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they will get more expensive. I mean, that's just my hot take. Yeah. If it's, Michelle it's, Obama was a man or? No, if she's the president. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sure, but, but, she's, whatever she wants to be. Regardless, like, it'll get more there's expensive. There's a full-on movement in my group of, around my, my my kind, and it's like, that isn't a woman. And I'm like, that's not true, guys. I've seen beefy chicks a lot, and she's just a beefy chick. It's fine. I don't understand what you're saying right they, now. They're saying that she's muscular. like built like she's oh, muscular. She's mus- okay. And I'm like, that's just, no. You guys are, that's too far. She's not a man. I mean, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I think is, it's ridiculous. I'm I'm gonna say something kind of controversial, uh, but as soon as Biden became president, um, you, I what? Got a soul? I got a soul now. <laughs> I'm gonna give every ginger a soul. <laughs> I'm gonna and give every ginger grand. a soul. <laughs> ten, ten you don't grand. vote for me, you're not ginger. <laughs> <laughs> A 
look at what good, good it did you, you soulless yeah. bastard. <laughs> anyway, I'm as, soon sorry. As, as soon as he became president, I, I texted a buddy and I was like, all right, get ready for gas to be super expensive as well as everything else. Oh, and you happened. know what happened? But that, coronavirus. to be fair, let's talk about no, inflation. No, corona was before that. that and let's, true. I mean, Trump did all the stuff that started all the things when yeah. it comes to inflation, whenever I stopped, out free I stopped money. No, work, no, it, I stopped working in oil and gas because of Trump. What do you mean? All the rigs shut down. Not during Trump. Yeah, during you, Trump. Well, okay, elaborate, please. They would just stop drilling because there was no incentive. What do you mean? There Offshore? Was a, there was a or, moment. No, I, here in where we're at. There was because, a moment. Because we opened during, up. What was going on in Alaska? Wait, wait. I don't know. There honestly. was a moment during Trump's presidency where oil was... They had so much that they were giving it away for free. Lit- okay, so how does that work when you're trying to sell oil? That's bad. When you're for trying oil to business. drill for oil to get more, it doesn't work out. So you stop but it, paying. But it people. makes, I guess, if there's so much, it makes it cheaper for everybody else to live. Because yeah, but you can't go get more and lose money on it. But didn't it, didn't Biden shut down? Yeah, it works for the end the end user, but people actively going for oil. If you're not making any money to get that the oil, I okay, get you. okay. I get but you. to be fair, I'm totally fine with screwing you at the pump. <laughs> I get that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, like yeah, I don't care I mean. that you have a job but in the oil also, industry. There's a lot of oil, like people in the oil and gas industry <coughs> that were like, okay, I guess. Was it because Trump was like, drill wherever you want? He personally came to me and said, "You're f- you're fired." <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I, I, I do love this. that. I love that man now. You're fired. You're, you're fired. You're weak. You can't look at rocks. Look, I'm not upset. What are you even doing Stop here? looking at rocks, yeah. okay? <laughs> okay, you've been looking at really good rocks, really big rocks. We yeah. look at the best rocks in the world. Some of the best rocks in America, okay? You were looking at okay. them, but I have to tell you, son, you don't have a job. It's a bad deal. Yeah. It's a bad deal to be Wait, looking at rocks right now. Was it because he was like, drill wherever you want, and there was too much drilling going remember. on? I personally, I just remember well, not being able to work for like six months because there was Policies so much oil that they didn't need destroys you the jobs okay. in the oil industry. And so it's also a very fickle market. It can like yeah. an outside state could be like, "Hey, guess what? Here's all the reserves that we're putting in the market." Right. So then Biden like restricted drilling. Right. He restricted um, a pipeline, and then he restricted like in a certain location. So so now the oil industry is booming. Well, well it's making more money because the prices are high. But at the well, just, expense of the the yeah, all you gotta do is American. check the price of oil, yeah. and then you'll know how it's doing. Right? Yeah. I haven't looked in forever because it's I yeah. mean it's expensive. So, yeah. So like I, to me personally, no offense, but screw the oil industry. I'd rather it be cheap. It makes it better for because everybody commodities else. go down. If gas goes down, so does milk. Listen, so I, does. But there's also a lot of greedflation right now. So yeah, there's a lot of greed. Sure, there's a lot of greedflation. And that but let's not let's 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 be completely frank. Whenever we decided to bail people out with a grand, and then bail them out with another grand, dude, I bought a Miata with with your with, with your my, with COVID my check. COVID money. Yeah, yep. yeah. But that money's <clears throat> instantly gone. It's not like they were like, here's that's one paycheck, if that. Like yeah, but we did. We printed it. We injected the entire com- economy. Yeah, but how much do we with every human money. being? But how much do we print into industries? Well, let's just say we have... give everybody in the United States. How many people in the United States? There's three million, three and a half million people in Oklahoma. Okay, but how many? Like, is there 200 million Americans right now? It's like 300 and okay. something. Okay, so if we you give them all a thousand dollars, give them all a thousand dollars. Holy shit! That's like 300 a million people. Okay, times, and we gave everybody 2,500 bucks over the whole of it. Over a trillion? I don't know. Yeah. 300 million people times times $2,500. That is a... That's 7.5 to the 11th power. <laughs> it won't even show it on my... What is yeah, that? yeah. So it six is... Uh, that is a $750 trillion. $750 tr- is that right? That's how much was injected into our yeah, economy. Seven hundred and fifty. If trillion? we give three hundred million people twenty five hundred dollars, seven hundred fifty billion. That sounds more right. Yeah, yeah that's billion. yeah, that's seven hundred fifty billion. billion. Almost a trillion dollars, like yeah. three quarters of a trillion. I was like seven hundred fifty trillion. That's unheard of. I mean, we're yeah. all screwed. Yeah. If that <laughs> was true. Seven hundred fifty billion. Okay, that that makes more okay, sense. Seven hundred fifty billion dollars. Yeah, just printed. 
Yeah, it's not good. And we just shot it into the economy thinking, look, that's not going to affect anything. I don't know, man. Anyways, the, the price of oil affects everything. I like, don't know, man. Like it's, everything is exported and imported. So what, what you need to do that is The value of the dollar oil. just went... Well, yeah. And so we if you're that. using oil to do all that and it's more expensive, then the cost of all the goods is going to go up as well. Mm-hmm. So basically, I mean... I'm not into there, but like I, it's important that well, so I, but the our point fossil is that Trump fuels okay aren't ex- those things. So whenever we're talking about whether or not a Republican or a Democrat is 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 the right move for the country, that's not what I'm thinking about anymore. Yeah, uh, that's not right. That's too dichotic. There's that's two shit sandwiches, and which sure. one has more bread in it? Which one? They're can both idiotic. Speak correctly. Today. Okay, uh, it's right. basically it's basically this for me. How does my wallet feel compared to whenever Trump was president? Compared to when Biden was president, well, you but done, you got it. You have you ever done you your got, taxes you have to yet? Admit because to yourself Trump that the decisions that people make in office change the tax law to where each yeah. year it gets more. Well, you're going to owe more. I'm not, uh, I'm not. I'm not vying for the 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 neoliberal thing, but I'm also not vying for the Republican thing either. I just think they all are. They're all out smoking the same ganj. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I've not ex- I've not experienced Let's any kind of change in my taxes. see how much money we can taxes. spend on the backs of the next generation to mm. keep progressing what we're trying to get yeah, done. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Do you think something wild's going to happen at some point? Or do you if think people we're just can't keep... eat, once yeah. people start going hungry, that's yeah. when you have revolution. Yeah. Yeah. We're not there yet. It's getting close. Groceries are ridiculous. It's actually yeah. cheaper almost to just go get a bowl from Chipotle than go to the grocery store. Is it? It's getting there. It's on like even though like even like fast food like I went and got Taco Bell for me and Serena I was like Taco Bell is eight dollars no last time I went what, for yourself yeah like I went for two people and it was like thirty bucks twenty roughly and I was twenty like, what oh, okay the but Taco Bell at ten dollars a person is wild I remember whenever right? it was like if you spent more than three yeah you were like, I used to go as a sixteen year old to McDonald's and ate yeah. for four dollars <laughs> yeah. yeah. you know what I mean and you would eat four double cheeseburgers I remember those <laughs> yeah. days yeah. I it's would. crazy. It's crazy. It's frustrating to experience all this. In in don't you just love living through world events all the time and yeah, just seeing how the economy gets fucked every it, yeah time. yeah it's crazy. <laughs> Freaking wanna, crazy. I am a little a little concerned with what's going to happen at this election cycle because people are just so mad. Mad with. The current state of things? Yeah. Oh, just, yeah. Just like either side, if if either side wins or loses, we're going to have shit go down. Yeah, there's going to be something. Ha- but actually, so... That's what it feels like. A, a good indicator as far as like where people are feeling is mm-hmm. is the emotions of social media. Mm-hmm. Okay? Before before Biden went into presidency, mm-hmm. the ever, they're on social media, the most common comment was like, Biden, yeah, Biden, 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 mm-hmm. whatever. Uh, nowadays, if you go onto Twitter, Facebook, whatever, mm-hmm. actually, it's more likely on Twitter because Facebook is like a mm-hmm. agenda platform, whatever, mm-hmm. more censored. If you go onto Twitter, any every single time Biden posts something, mm-hmm. his comments are just full of people just crapping on him. Mm-hmm. Nobody, as far as you can yeah, tell, likes the guy. Not a fan. Mm-hmm. And then whenever he did his, uh, what was the most recent thing? Uh, he did a speech. What's it called? Just recently, the State of the, the Union. Yeah, State yeah. of the Union. State of the Union. They posted a video from the State of the Union uh, about everything that he's achieved, and people were just like, "Nope, nope, nope." Yeah, you're saying all this crap. Yeah, he was, and none blind, of it's yeah. true. Uh, he was like, "Look how good the economy is." Yeah, like, McDonald's is fourteen dollars. <laughs> Looks yeah, great, yeah, bud. Yeah, like, oh my <laughs> oh god. My god. Like, is, it yeah. is weird though. They all judge the economy off like Wall Street and stuff. It's like, look. Yeah, I'm still getting paid. The same, like well, I'm glad exactly. Wall Street's doing great. Did you know that great. wages? That <laughs> They're just wages, taking more money from everybody, right? Our money is is ten times as valuable, and our wages, ten times less valuable. Okay, sorry. Right, ten <laughs> times less valuable. So things are ten times more expensive than they were in the late seventies. Right, and our wages since the late seventies have gone up fifteen yeah. percent. You know, yeah, I had a buddy who said he got so a. Like, if if stuff if if a gallon of milk was a dollar and now it's ten dollars, now and you were making ten dollars an hour, 
Now you're making 50, a gallon of milk you're an hour. Twelve dollars and fifty cents yeah. an hour. Yeah, just buy a cow <laughs> just buy or whatever. A cow. Yeah. No, I had a buddy who said that he got a ten percent increase in his salary, mm-hmm. like a like a year ago or something. But and at a nine percent inflation, he said. Rate, but at like, like yeah, it's like it's nothing. I yeah. actually didn't get I'm anything. Now making the same amount. Exactly. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. making the same amount. Um, but we are we are at an hour and a half now. Okay, it's true. So when we call it, we got to call it. What a a, a crazy podcast! A lot of uh, controversial spice-y. topics. A lot yeah. of spice. A lot of spice. I still need you to go on and fix the the titles because the a, the AI robots that I use. Yeah, they suck at titles. They're not really that great at it. Okay. So just do that. Okay. If you can do anything. I'll take a look at it today. I've got time. Cool. Um. Uh. For for this next episode. Okay. But Nick, thank you for coming back. Thank you guys. Nick's gonna be on every single time he can. We'll see. We're happy we'll to see. have Nick. Well, that's what I said. Every single time yeah. you can. No pressure. But <laughs> show up every week. Okay. I'll be here <laughs> next week. Got it. All right. That's week 24, I think. 24 weeks of this. Mm. Only missing one week mm. whenever I got deadly sick. Mm. Sounds, yeah. like, sounds like a weakness. AIDS never, will do that to you. Never been deadly sick? <laughs> Never. You never been sick and be like, uh, death sounds pretty good. Yeah, actually. <laughs> right now. Actually, the other day, but it was like a one to two day thing. Yeah, when so, you ate something, yeah. and you got food poisoning. Oh, it's coming out all sorts of ways. Yeah. It's on my ears. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. on my cuticles. Uh, the slug is coming out the ears. It was bad. It was bad. Dude, yeah. if I ever saw anything come out of my ears, bro, I would <laughs> right? fucking lose my mind. <laughs> There's just a like blood. Yeah. I'll be like, oh. I was literally so sick like two weeks ago that I was going to sleep and was like, I'm all right with not waking up. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, just went, man. This is awful. <laughs> you know? But, but I think everybody in the freaking town had that this last. Yeah, whatever weeks, it was. Three years. Whatever three it was. So. It was crazy. All right. All right. That's See you later. It. See you next week. Goodbye. Like and comment and subscribe and bloop. <laughs>